this second here. Going to keep my head in the game. Uh, as Good afternoon, everyone. You've been watching Fox's news coverage of the great American eclipse that is well underway in the U.S. Totality right now in Indianapolis. We're going to take you back to that in just a couple of moments. First, though, we want to show you what the eclipse looks like here in south central Pennsylvania. Thanks for being with us. I'm Evan Forrester, central Pennsylvania, not in totality. We're in a 92% coverage area in our region. A live look at the partial eclipse right now from Cadora State Park in Mannheim Township, York County. A viewing party is taking place as we speak with educational activities. Telescopes, binoculars, other solar viewing instruments are also available for folks to safely witness this event. Fox 43's Alyssa Kratz is there and joins us with a look at what's happening. Hey Evan, we're here at Cadora State Park in York County where dozens of people of all ages have gathered to try to get a glimpse of this afternoon's eclipse. And I'm also joined here today by Jerry Jones, a local geologist and astronomer. Jerry, this is really exciting for people. Oh, it's, we're having a great time here. Uh, great turnout. The weather is turning to be uh, really, really decent. Uh, so uh, it gets my excitement hyped. Yeah, and we do have a little bit of cloud coverage, I know, up there today. I mean, how do you expect that to kind of impact what we're going to be able to see? I think actually the clouds are clearing out here, and by totality, uh, 321, it's going to be a, a beautiful sky. Give them a good show. Awesome, and so I know you have a couple of tools here that people are kind of checking out that's going to help us to safely view the eclipse. If you want to walk back here and just kind of explain this uh, telescope that you have here, how it works, uh, explain it a little bit to us. This is called a Newtonian. This is a six inch telescope there's a mirror in the back six inch in diameter light from the sun comes in the open tube hits the mirror which is actually concave in shape it bounces back up to the mirror it's inside the cage behind my finger here and projects the light out through the eyepiece and we're doing projection today uh, to be safe so uh, there's the moon and the sun and right there in my shadow that's actually a pair of sunspots showing up on the sun which is uh, very active this year and next year. So uh, safest way to view an eclipse or even the sun anytime is projection. Yeah, and it's, what's it like getting to kind of show the little ones that are here and getting to explain all this to them? Hey, you get to see the excitement on the faces. Uh, young and old, actually, you know. Uh, a 90-year-old uh, has as much fun as a 10-year-old. So uh, obviously from the turnout we've had, uh, uh, people have responded and Everybody wants to get their glasses and yeah. and uh, see the last uh, solar eclipse what, for, for for 20 years. Yeah, as, just like you said, it's going to be a ways to we have a ways to go before we're going to get an eclipse like we're seeing today. Again, we're expecting between 90 and 92 percent totality here in York County. Uh, but for now, in Cadora State Park, Alyssa Kratz, Fox 43 News. All right, Alyssa, thank you so much. Fox 43's Danielle Miller is live in Erie in northwestern Pennsylvania, where they will witness totality. Danielle? Evan, it is crazy here. It is already getting dark. It's getting cooler. We are minutes away from totality. A lot of excitement here. We're in Perry Square in the center of downtown Erie. Lots going on. Now, we've been talking about this for a while now. One of the most exciting things about this eclipse, NASA's studying it. They're sending some experiments up to state, up to space, I should say. Let's hear from one of their uh, representatives. We are going to have two uh, aircraft that are going to be mounted with special cameras that are going to look at the coronasphere of the sun. And when the moon is right in front, they'll be able to see details they can't see any other way. All right, so NASA's obviously doing a lot today. Also, Governor Shapiro was here. He was really excited, and he's so excited. There are so many people from across the world here in Erie. Here's what he had to say. And to be able to see, you know, Folks coming here from all over the Commonwealth, the country, across the globe to see what's great about Erie, to make plans to come back. It's just exciting to me. And as someone who's betting on tourism and hospitality as a key economic driver in this Commonwealth, events like this, events like what we're going to have in 2026 for the 250th anniversary, this is like bread and butter for us. And 
let me tell you guys, you're now taking a look up at the eclipse. We are a minute away from totality. It is incredibly dark here out in uh, Perry Square in Erie. The temperatures are cooler. Everyone is a buzz. We are all really excited. Again, we are just minutes, seconds at this point away from totality. You can probably hear all of the people behind me that have um, traveled to see here. They are all, you know, ooing and aahing. Everyone has their glasses up. Again, just minutes away from totality. And uh, we are just waiting to hear their reactions and uh, get this final countdown. I do believe the crowd. There you go. Can you hear it? This, this is an out of this world experience. I've got to tell you, it is incredibly dark here in Erie. Everyone is just looking eyes to the sky. It is absolutely incredible. And hey, I've even found some local people here in totality. Well, I'll just, I'll just let you take it all in here for a second, folks. There you have it, a total solar eclipse in Erie this afternoon. The crowd is going wild. So what you're seeing around the moon right now, that's going to be the sun's corona. It is the outer atmosphere of the sun. It is only visible when the moon comes out. And so at this point in time, everybody here in Erie has glasses off. We are able to see that corona safely. We are able to experience it with our own eyes and without you know, harming our eyes. Everyone is just going crazy. Hey, let me tell you, we have a Duncanon woman here, Bernadette Woodford. She traveled all the way from the eclipse. You can't see her, but you're going to hear her. Bernadette, what is your thought? It's amazing. It is so awesome. Really, it's it's just not what I expected. It's better. It's better than expected. Obviously, what is what's your main reaction? Is it the temperature? Is it the light? It's everything. I to experience darkness like this in the middle of the day is just crazy. It's fun. It's exciting. Absolutely exciting. Thank you so much for, for chatting with me. We are so happy you got to be here. Uh, totality here in Erie lasting for just over three minutes. So that is the only time that folks have their sunglasses off. The rest of the afternoon, we are going to have to put those sunglasses back on. Uh, Evan, this is absolutely an out of this world experience. I, I feel like I'm getting uh, giddy and emotional just talking about it. Yeah, Danielle, it sounds like how folks we've heard on Fox uh, in the last hour or so as they see this eclipse certainly are very emotional. Uh, emotional for you as well? Yeah, you know, I saw an eclipse back in 2017 at 98% totality, and I've got to tell you, this is nothing like that. This is, it, it's beyond dusk. It is dark outside, it's chilly outside. Everyone is just in pure awe of this scene. So definitely a sight to see. If you're seeing it in South Central Pennsylvania, you know, make a trip for the next one. I, I definitely recommend. Yeah, great reporting and uh, we'll let you get back to it. Great images. Thank you so much, Danielle Miller, live in Erie at the uh, location of Totality here in Pennsylvania. And we're going to catch up with her again here on Fox 43 News First at Four. We're going to take a look at other local eclipse celebrations. The path of Totality does continue now heading up towards Buffalo, New York, then into Maine and eventually into Canada. We're going to send you back to Fox's coverage of the Great American Eclipse. Again, we'll see you coming up in about an hour for Fox 43 News. First at four, we'll have the latest. You mentioned how bright it was during totality. It's the closest thing that I've ever seen to a sci-fi movie, let's be honest. And just how unifying this event has been for so many. I, I also am joined here by Christy. I want to ask you, Christy, this was your first Total Solar Experience what was it like for you? What were you thinking in the moment? In the moment, it was amazing because you feel the anticipation and it's nothing like you thought it would be. Right. It's just a, a once in a lifetime.